Oh, do you think I can do it? Let's see if I can do it. So, this is the weekend. Today is boom, 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 July 31, 2016. I'm going to talk about San Francisco a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's go to the top. Boom. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff. Black Lives Matter. What's up, San Francisco? All right. In fact, I did a um, check this out. Who likes to be thought of? Oh, my goodness. We got stuff to talk about. I'm going to jam, though. Man, what do you want to talk about first? All right, let's go. Who likes to be thought of as a criminal right from step one? You know, um, it was only my experience in the uh, civil case. I, I'm a divorced father, and um, one of the ways that I grew in sensitivity to the black narrative was going through my own civil trial. Um, and, and, you know, when I realized that the way fathers are viewed in a civil trial is much like the way uh, black people are viewed, you know, the, from the very beginning, from the jump, from step one, baby! we are thought of as a problem, you know? And, uh, you know, when I went through that, you know, and I can kind of go into my Jesus talk about how sometimes God will, uh, you'll go through something to raise sensitivity to you, you know? In fact, that's even in the Bible where, um, I think it was, was it Moses where God was like, hey, dude, uh, we're going to kind of, you're going to go through some shit so that you can help your other Hebrew people. And, um, you know, that's one way that we, we grow in sensitivities. We go through things. And so, anyway, I saw this, Black Lives Matter, San Francisco Chronicle, we're going to talk about some news here. July 31, who likes to be thought of as a criminal from Black Lives Matter? I mean, guys, come on, dude. All right, here we go. And uh, on another news, from the cover, have you ever noticed that when two guys are working, there's always one watching? There's always the watcher guy. There's always the guy that are like, like uh, dude. So no, in fact, no matter where you're at, you notice where, where guys are walking, working, there's always a dude that's just sitting back going, hey, what's up, man? Dude, she's finer than some pull shit. Like, okay. And then, uh, in fact, if you ever see a picture, take a picture of it and tweet me. Tweet me at Fibonacci.com and say, you know, hashtag the worker guy because, you know, there's always one guy working, one guy checking out. Anyway, what's going on here? You know, cops love to play the hero cop. You ever notice? I bet you, you know, would she still be pulled over if she were like, uh, I don't know, looking like me? No. Here we go. Please still have no marijuana DUI test. I got an idea because plants should not be illegal. Let's go to the world. Let's see what's on the other stuff. The Guardian, they're talking about um, Tour de France, blah, blah. I just don't think cycling's ever really going to take off here. Here we go. This is from the uh, Dubai, the Gulf News. Gulf News, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Check this out. Sultan Ahmad Al Jabir. Man, you know, if I were, sometimes I kind of wish that I could be called Sultan. You know, maybe that's why I'm still single. Because, like, if I could just, maybe I should change my Tinder profile to just call me Sultan. Anyway, this guy, he says, local leadership wants to establish Al, uh, Dubai as the capital of the world when it comes to advancement of renewable energy. Man, I would love, 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 love to take this channel over there and interview that. Because, I mean, that story of Dubai about how they're literally growing a country, a, a state out of like nothing. And they're lit I mean, poor in sand. And, I mean, it's growing out of literally the desert. It's amazing. And, you know, the fact that it's kind of like the perfect redo. You know, if you think about, um, look at Dubai and how they're, they're beginning is how we should really implement things over here. And they're starting with renewable uh, energy. All right, so go to buy. Hey, in fact, if you're the Sultan over there, email me. I'd love to come over there. And in fact, bring me over there. I'd love to, uh, I'd lo I would love to come over there and bring this channel and interview you guys. Uh, and then we got the, um, it, oh, guess, guess what? We have Hillary Clinton in the Sydney News. And guess what she's doing? She's talking about her gender. Everybody, I just want you to know Hillary's a woman. All right, okay, that's it. Because uh, that's basically all that she's run off. All right, let's look at the. Average mortgage rates, U.S. 30-year mortgage rates, edge up to 3.48%. What else we got here? Uh, man, I guess we could. I've already talked about this, you know. Court schools, last stop for troubled kids. It says small classes, personal attention and help, helping to empty. Oh, that's such so amazing. Small classes and personal attention. I got an idea. How about Black Lives Matter and stop, stop treating their people this way? And that way they don't grow up in fear and they don't, they're, you know, they grow up normally and healthy. Here we go. Business report. Um, in fact, I saw a documentary on coding and, you know, how kids are learning how to code. And man, you know, one thing that, that I wish people would know, in fact, if you're a superintendent of any school, I mean, pay attention to coding. We, we talk about foreign languages like Spanish and French. I took French in Oklahoma. I mean, how many French people do you see running around Oklahoma? Why, why was I taking French? 
Um, but uh, you know, this is a language, and learn, kids learning how to code is so important because the other countries, I mean, they're teaching these little bitty kids how to code, and uh, that's why we're all going to be speaking Japanese eventually. All right, featured homes. Let's talk about, let's sell some real estate here. Financial district. Here we go. Contact this guy. Frederick, look at that listing. Financial district, man, that's pretty. I would love to come check that out, man. Uh, Oakland. Oakland's kind of an interesting city. We got... Listing agent Leah. Oh, my my favorite people are named Leah. Oh, how I love Leah's. And then we have another one here. This is a listing agent by Tremaine. Man. All right, guys. There's your free, free advertising. If you have a property you would like advertise on this channel, I can bring my camera and my beautiful self, and I'd come tell people about your beautiful home because I just love real estate. But you have to have a cool house. I don't want stupid houses. I want cool houses. All right. Well, what else we got? I think we're done. Oh my goodness, Black Lives Still Matter. And I think we're done for the day. Oh, you want to go to National News? Let's go to National News. Wrap this up. Wall Street Journal, I saw this. U.S. weakest recovery since 49. Wait, it's talking about... Where, where's the gender in that? There's no gender. Oh, because the president needs to actually know how to do some shit. You know, okay, I'm going to end on little, little Trump. Let's talk about Trump a little bit. Now that it's just down to the two of them, let's talk about Trump. And I'm going to end on a political, why I'm for Trump. Now, I'm not really for Trump. I'm really for Melania. I want Melania to be um, the next um, first lady. Because I, she, you know how we have kind of a MILF, you know what a MILF is? I think we have a FLILF, like a first lady I like to, man, that woman is stunningly hot like stu- like honestly like what i would give to hang out with her for 30 minutes or what i would give to hang out with donald and her for 30 minutes and just watch that interaction but here's the thing this is why i'm for trump okay now trump is an idiot i'm gonna give you that trump is a big fat idiot but that's sad too and you know one thing i like about um trump is that he's done something and he's run an international company and at this point in the game I think a business person who who has done something, and like at this point, I don't care who you are, Republican, Democrat, Green, Libertarian, I don't care. As long as you've done something and you have improved something, but these lifelong establishment people that have done nothing but go to law school and, um, and go to Washington, I'm done with those people. So anyway, I'm for Trump. Man, Trump. Hey, if you're there, Trump, first thing I'm going to say to you is, hello, where's Melania? The second thing I'm going to say is, where's Ben Carson? I'm a pro Ben Carson guy. All right, guys, wrap this up. Eight minutes is long enough. Hope I've taught you something. You guys have a great day. Remember, Black Lives Matter. You guys have a great day. It's time to treat our brothers good. All right, if you have any questions, you'd like to uh, sell your real estate, you'd like me to advertise your small business, maybe you're in the San Fran area, I don't care. I don't know. But if you're in the San Francisco area, you'd like to be a part of this channel, I would love to interview you. Email me, Americano417 at gmail.com. Email me, Americano417 gmail.com.